Hello Nagarjuna, welcome to Film Company. Hi, South. how are you? Long time. I know, I know, I <laughs> it's know. It's been a year, right? More than that, I think, but I want to know one thing. Do you swear a lot in real life? <laughs> uh, yes, I, not a lot. Sometimes they do come out. <laughs> okay. No, the reason I ask is because I've just seen the trailer of Wild Dog mm. and it ends with this word. Madar Chot. Which we usually never hear in family-friendly Telugu stars. Yeah. You know, they are saying. So that word, yeah. you know, that word you don't want to say. No, I'm saying <laughs> no, I don't want to say it in the interview because little kids might be listening yes, to it. Absolutely. But but the point is, when that script came to you and that word was there, you felt this is necessary. It is. It it, it is just the way the cops speak. Right. Saying. No, it's absolutely how the this is yeah. the way people. Uh, say, I mean, friends speak to each other in a very friendly way, but yeah. the cuss words come out. Yeah. And um, it seemed right and apt for that film right. at that point of time when the certain incidents happened and it seemed very very right and I had no issue saying it because it, it was right into the character but we have to see <laughs> how, the, the how the censors yeah. take it. The Wild Dog is by uh, this newcomer right? Ahishur Solomon yeah. and of course you're no newcomer to newcomers your very most legendary film is by a newcomer Shiva, Ram Gopal yes, Varma yes, but, yes. but Okay, let's take this movie, right? There's always a difference between thinking that, okay, I think this guy can do this versus being on the set and saying, okay, now I know this guy can do this. Yeah. At what point did in Wild Dog did that happen? Right on um, my day one, right. uh, we, by the end, evening, I was, okay, we can, we can pull this off. He's, he's clear about what he wants and that is very important. Okay. Uh, 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 because right from the beginning, the producer and myself, uh, and uh, of course Solomon too, we all surrounded ourselves with good technicians. Right. That was it. Once you are the good technicians, it's just about the language which comes across, the visual language which they give it anyway. Yeah. So, but once uh, a new new director is there, now you've had such, so much of experience in the movies, you also have no, you have these little instincts about, okay, this might work, this might, this may be going a little, on the sets, do you ever do you ever do you ever become more than an actor? Do you say maybe try it this way? Uh, no, I I never get into the directors this thing. At the most, I will say, can I do it like this? Okay, so your part, my part. Yeah, and if you you can pick whichever you like. Okay, that's a, at the most I get into it. Anything is done pre-production, and after the film is edited, right. I would tell go sit with the director and tell him this is not happening. Maybe. Okay. Know. I become the audience there. Right, yeah, right. I become the audience. This is not happening. This is not happening. Or oh, this is happening. <laughs> you know. So one one way that many actors say that they become the audience is by preferring to listen to a narration of the script rather than reading the script. Yeah. What kind of person are you? I, I need narration. You need somebody I, to I need a narration. I have to look into the eyes of the guy. Okay. Who's going to see how confident he is. Okay. <laughs> Before, you know, reading this, if he comes and reads the script in front of me also, I'm not okay with that. Okay. You need him to, with all the passion and uh, yeah, all that. I need yeah. him to tell you, this book has to be to the side. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So he needs to know it and he just kind of. He needs to know, he needs to be clear. So that's that. how one narrates a script in Nagarjuna. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Now let's talk about Manmadhuru 2. It didn't do too well. No. It Rahul Ravindran, Rahul the Ravindra. director. Yeah. Rahul Ravindran, the director, said something interesting after the movie's release. And I'm going to read it out to you. After the release, Nagarjuna sir called me and gave me a pep talk. He said, working in this movie created months of good memories mm. uh, and we should not let one bad Friday spoil it. Yeah. But how do you deal with failure, Nagarjuna? Who gives you a pep talk? Um, not really. I've, I've, you, you don't care? I have very short term memory loss. Okay. <laughs> so that's it? <laughs> well, you work, Usually. You I, work so hard on a movie. You work very hard, but that's the way over the years right. I, got, I realized it that this is the way it is. Not just because you like it doesn't mean Baddy has to like it. Or, you know, it's not going to be like that. And uh, uh, I don't blame anybody except uh, uh, myself or my. No, it's dad. not blame. But no, it's not the blame. How you pick yourself up after a, you don't you don't need that pick up at all. You're not you're zen. really, not really, not really. I move. Okay. I move out of that space quite fast. Okay. This happened over the years. You know, was uh, there any movie that that failed and then you felt, oh my God? Yes, there oh. were um, two movies uh, that I got very, very traumatized. Okay, was Gitanjali and uh, Anamaya. Okay, these two movies took about fifteen days to for people to accept them. 
Gitanjali was, uh, I mean, when it first released, I thought it was a brilliant film. My father thought it was a brilliant film after the scene. And when it released, it was just caught maybe in a one theatre in Hyderabad or in Vizag. So it played very well. The rural areas just okay. demolished it. The editors were, that time it was pr this, right? Editors were doing their Cutting own off, edit, yeah. whatever they were doing, whatever that, that they were doing. <laughs> and, and I actually was in tears for a while. Because and then? And I had um, people, directors, other directors, other colleagues coming and saying, it's okay, you tried, don't worry about it. You tried, but this is an English film, it's not going to work for us. It's, <laughs> it's not our, our culture or uh, things like that. How can you use the word lechpodama? A girl can't say that in our culture. A boy can say it, you know. <laughs> this kind of thing they told me and I was traumatized in my mind I was like shut the F up <laughs> don't need to tell me this <laughs> I'm already traumatized but after the 52nd week those days pe movies played for a day yeah long yeah 100 days it 25 weeks picked yeah. up and it became a cult film later right, on right same thing with Anamaya uh, I don't know I mean they just didn't accept it it came to termination on the 10th day. Okay, tenth like they were going to pull it off. They were going to pull it off. There was no 5%, 10% audience. I don't know what happened on the 11th day. From that, it went to housefuls. Something happened on like a critical mass happened or a critical point, tipping point happened. And the 11th day, it just took off. And both these uh, <laughs> films got me a lot of praises. <laughs> right. Afterwards. Do, do you... Do you believe in like a larger force controlling our our destinies? No, I'm not asking about religion necessarily, but that that some things are just no, out of our hands. The larger force is the the force of uh, collective thinking of the people of the people. That I feel is the larger force, which becomes God to some people or whatever. I, that's how I look at it. Right. It's a larger force of. It took for me for the people. It took that much see they're the first uh, regular film goers who goes go for the first one right. one week but it took that much time to the all-round film goers who don't go to judge right who go to see or whether i like the film or i don't like the film. right right they just go there they don't say it's good till first half they don't say yeah. <laughs> things like that they said no film is good yeah they don't say they don't even point out which yeah yeah so i think by the time it reached that this collective uh, force. It took that much time for the tipping point to happen. Amazing. Yeah. When when you do a film like Wild Dog, and and from the trailer, it does look a little different from the earlier action films that you've done. Like you you've played a commando in in Gaganam, for instance. You know you've done other action films as well. What would you say is different about this in the way it it shows action? Because action grammar vocabulary has changed over the years. Over right? the year, this vocabulary we got it from David. Uh, David. Uh, I'm not, he's got a good, uh, what do you say, uh, experience, nice experience working with the Hollywood films, not as a main stunt director, right? as an assistant stunt director, whatever, 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 and he did his own action. And he had done some combat films. Okay. Basically, he's a combat, uh, that kind of uh, expert in those kind of films. So, this is what, you know, we want to show NIA and how when they go on a mission, undercover, whatever, what are the things, how do they move, how do they talk to each other, how do they hold their guns. And uh, in these missions, there's no time for punches. Right. <laughs> how do I you mean, hold a gun? I mean, is that yeah. is that really a thing? Like how? Yeah, you it's the way you hold a gun. See, there's six or seven of them moving. And if you go to hold a gun like this, you could accidentally shoot your own Right. Partner. Okay. So the gun is always like this. And it it just comes up for shots right you know when you need to take the target out these kind of things which he, and always you know how the eyes keep moving around right and there's a rhythm to that right it's just not like this there's a rhythm right how they move around and how this can all this did come through in the movie because we did go through a one week training with him he would just 
he just made sure that the gun felt very natural in my hand. Uh, but this kind of thing never happened in the earlier days, right? No. Where you just you mimicked things. You didn't really look. For you mimicked. You looked at something, or you mimic, you look at the stunt director, whatever he holds. <laughs> you know, then I realized. But people don't also don't know. Like people now you're know. saying, you know, this thing. No, this came out because uh, uh, thanks to COVID, people got exposed. To so much of. Yeah. Now they're going to say, why are you making a fool of yourself? Right. People got exposed to a lot of foreign cinema. You see foreign cinema. This is how it is. What was the last thing that you saw that made you say, wow? Recently? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that Wow Factor is going because you're seeing one every day. <laughs> <laughs> no film, series, whatever. I like Scam very much. Yeah. Because I wanted to, I don't want to talk about uh, Hollywood. Uh, right, right, right. So many Scam movies. was amazing. Yeah. Scam was amazing because I connected with it. I yeah. followed Arshad Mehta during that time. You know, what does a big bull mean? So what right. does a bull bull mean? <laughs> yeah. And during that time, it was very clear. I, I followed. Hey, man, this guy had a Lexus car. Lexus car those days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All those things and they had put photographs of his house then. Yeah. And the way he lived or whatever, whatever, and, you know. And they, he was in the newspaper all the all time. All the time, yeah. He was pretty much, yeah. So, yeah. I connected with it completely and right. that made me. Family Man I liked very much uh, uh, of the uh, uh, recent things. The, 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 the How they bought a, a, a family into a that kind of a film. It's supposed to be an action, dark film. Yeah. But how they bought it so beautifully, the the thing into that. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, there's some nice... Uh, the last time I asked you this, you were kind of undecided. Are you now more like, if they give me a really good role in a scam kind of movie, I'll do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will? It's not a theatrical, it's only OTT? No, no, I've already been... I'm now, right now, I'm in talks. I mean, I know you're doing Big Boss and all that. I'm no, no, yeah. I'm in talks for OTT. Okay. Two, three series okay. which are coming. And uh, it's not that I made this decision in COVID time. Okay. I feel this is a way forward. Yeah, yeah. For especially actors like me who have done this. And this is the way forward for me. What do you mean actors like you? No, actors like me means who have been in it for 35 years. But and people will see you for 35 they years more. They will see, but it is a nice change. Okay. Yeah, a way yeah. forward. You want to tell a story. Some stories can't be told in right. two hours. Right. They need to be told and you in can eight swear. hours. Huh? And you can swear. <laughs> and you can <laughs> swear. I don't know. <laughs> Sensor is coming for that too. <laughs> I don't know. No, don't be too sure. <laughs> You know, one of the things that you said is, I like to go to a movie hall and see larger than life things. Is that still true? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, I'm asking you one question about a movie like Wild Dog, which is based on a real life tragedy, right? At what point do you draw the line between, I, this has to be respectful of the real life tragedy, but this also has to be entertaining to people. How do yeah. you draw that line? It's it a bit difficult, but we drew the line. In, in other words, uh, you could say it's classical music with pop music. Right. We made that film. If you see the trailer, you'll understand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, nobody jumps into the air and catches a gun and shoots. Right. You know, these are the things which, these are all larger than life. Right. Instance. We made the character super larger, larger than life. Yeah, your character. My character, Vijay Verma's character super larger than life that nothing can nothing will stop it right and you get a, i mean even in the trailer when your entry comes yeah. it it looks like a mass entry kind yeah, of yeah. a thing yeah, yeah nothing yeah. will stop yeah. it yeah. i'm very clear about that i in real life i I, I mean, in real life, I don't think NIA agents make a mass entry like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they will not. And the way they will make it will definitely look boring. Yeah. For on a big screen. Yeah. I mean, it's real. It's real. It's real. And they're not going to do things, wear clothes like that, holsters on the side and all of that. We need to do this. And right. I believe in that cinema and I will stick to that cinema. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, an actor's job is to get with the director's help, get into the head of the character, right? Uh, what is your preparation method for something like, like, you know, for something like 
wild dog? Do you listen to a lot of hard rock? Watch a lot of action films? No, no. Just, no. just go there and no change yeah. in lifestyle. Nothing. <laughs> it's the same you're not, a, you're not doing any method things <laughs> like, like you know, apart from that one week of preparation. <laughs> <laughs> no change in life. Yeah, because I'm, I'm kind of imagining for Annamaya, you're, you're listening to a lot of classical music and you know, sitting in a room and you nothing know, in absorbing life. everything. No, 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 nothing like that. There's nothing like that. And I have a very good group of friends and my wife and my children, they will, if I do something, don't think you're a wild dog, just come. <laughs> <laughs> They'll say that straight on my face. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, so you're always, you just switch off and then go. No, it's a switch off thing. Okay. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a question about fandom and how you handle it because I read this very disturbing report about what happened to Naga Chaitanya recently. Yeah, what happened? It No, it says, he was shooting for Vikram uh, Kumar's Thank, Thank You, you. Uh, in uh, the rural regions of Telugu states. Yeah. And a video doing the rounds on social media shows a die-hard fan of the actor. He jumps into the yeah, river. Yeah, he jumps into the river to <laughs> click a selfie. Yeah. I mean, how do you handle that kind of fandom, you know? Not that I don't know if anybody jumped into a river for you, but... I've jumped into a river many times. For I'm, I'm sure that guy had jumped into the river many times and he's been... He's just... He wanted to reach Nagi Chaitanya, he wanted to figure out what he wants to do. And I'm glad he didn't hurt, into, hurt himself. No, but, that, but like, how do you handle Because Telugu film fans in general are in India's best fans, you know, you cannot ask for more in it, one way. It is exactly like, I'm, I'm not saying it's exactly like if you go to Birmingham, how the football fans beat the hell out of each other. Right. They break legs, break head. What's the difference in that? The same thing. It is the same thing. This. This is their, their love for the team. Right. Their team is Naga Chaitanya there. And their opposition is some other actor. So those guys fight. In, it is just another, what do you know, another manifestation <laughs> into, you know, they use uh, uh, actors. They like somebody, they use actors and they fall in love with them. Right. And uh, they will do anything for them. But the same person, if Naga Chaitanya does not do what they like him to do, it will be reverse. Right. Completely. You should see the galis they give. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Nobody hears about that. Yeah. It is like two brothers fighting then. <laughs> yeah. But what makes you, what explains this in India? Because it's it's a very Indian phenomenon, right? See, everywhere. Films, it's Indian phenomena. Yeah. But like I said, for sports, it's a world phenomenon. Right. Sports is a world. You have yeah, to be. Yeah, but that. that kind of fandom is, I think, only in India. In India, especially in the South. Yeah. What is what explains it for you? How you thought about it, right, Shirley? No, I, I mean, I don't want to put. They're looking for heroes. Okay. And they find it in. But I think you you are treated also like a deity, right? Like a like it's not just the hero. It's almost like yeah, a god they, level. I don't let them fall on my feet. I no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm no, not I'm not anything. saying it's your <laughs> encouraging it, but yeah. I'm saying, what do you think? Like obviously, when you were growing up, also you had your favorite stars and and See, actors. See, it is good if we are inspiring them, and if they I and if they're going to want to behave like we behave in movies, it's not. Okay, okay. They can't behave like a wild dog or they can't <laughs> behave like somebody. It's not going to happen. Okay. It shouldn't. It is okay if they're taking the good points from us uh, or inspiring points from us. Right. If they're taking it. You know, I, I would say uh, 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 an inspiring point from Naga Chaitanya. He's very, very focused. He's very, very uh, hard working though, whatever. He doesn't need to do that. He puts everything for his role. He's super, he's very, very conscious about his fitness, his health. They should take those. Okay. And he's always smiling. He never gets angry. <laughs> <laughs> so even if I'm angry at him, he says, cool down, cool down. It's okay. It's not that bad. <laughs> Why are you all? So they should take those points. Okay. I would like them. One of your upcoming films is Brahmastra. Yeah. Uh, is it the next, next release after this, after Wild Dog? Okay. Right, so you have to ask Karan Johar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, now again, apart from your odd films like the bilinguals, like Criminal, that that you did like for Hindi and kind, you never felt like really focusing on that market. Not, not really. Because Shiva was a pure Hindi film. Yeah. 
but then afterwards we saw you in Khuda Gawa where I did you know Khuda Gawa, I did Zakam, some I LOC did, type uh, small uh, roles and all and just yeah. like that. Is it just like a fun thing? Not fun thing. It's a role. If, for example, Zakam, I really like the role. Right. And I wanted to work with Bhat Saab also. This Ayan came all the way here to Hyderabad, and he says, "I can't think of anybody but you." <laughs> and he gave me the whole narration of my little bit in that film. Right. And I really loved it. He's put me right up there. Okay. In that film, the way he put it, put me like they would in a in a Telugu film. Right. If I would do a cameo in a Telugu film or a small role in a Telugu film, I would do it also. Right. Yeah. Like that, he put me up like a Hindi star, and I said, "Yeah, I I, I will do it." <laughs> you. So that's why I did it. You said you were really impressed by what 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 impressed you about it? Was it the narration? Was it the concept? What was it? Then his passion first, the narration, the whole concept of the film, which is going to be, I won't say different, very very interesting, using Indian mythics, Indian uh, mythology, right. legends, the Indian, the whole five thousand starts from five thousand years right. back. So right. So the Vedic times, all of that. Right. So that really really interested. You know, one mythic movie that you did that I think is very underrated is Agni Varsha. Yeah, I know. It's a very nice, very movie. nice movie, Sajnani. Yeah, and it yeah. was like a and 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 for a change, it was it was it really looked very natural. There was a genuine thing there going See, on. That's the problem. That's where is the mix we have to find. You know, you have to find that mix. If you want to capture the complete audience, you need to find that mix. How how would you do it in a mix like uh, that mix in a movie like Agni Varsha, which is set there, you, which uh, in the period? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not saying do it like Bahubali, but you can make okay. mix. Okay. Okay. I'm not saying do it like Bahubali. There are a lot of nice mixes where they're not action films or right. anything like right. that. Right. Right. But the mix is made right. Right. Yeah. You know, the it's such a beautiful story. That, yeah, that, it's yeah. a beautiful yeah. story. It was. A, Play before, right? Yeah, yeah. By uh, I think um, who was Grish uh, Grishji. I think so. I'm not sure now. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. He was. He had the play going yeah, for a while. Yeah. That's where it picked up. Yeah, yeah, picked yeah. Up. So now I have a question from you from your producer Karan Johar. <laughs> <laughs> he could ask him. Ask it himself. Yeah, but but he says <laughs> I would like to ask Nagarjuna in his esteemed opinion. Esteemed opinion. What he thinks of the evolution of Hindi cinema from Shiva to Brahmastra. And how does this evolution compare to the evolution of southern cinema? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big question. It's a thesis question. <laughs> evolution of um, Hindi cinema, um, in the sense, I, I I felt they were going a little too yuppie. Okay. Okay. So they've been. Go I mean, they've been recently. They've been incredible films, which they came back to our roots. Right. Completely. Right. Right. But in in between. They were going a little too yuppie, which was very, very alien to our our masses. Right. Okay. And um, that's they were they were very city centric, uh, multiple. Not just city centric. They were NRI centric. Right. Very clear. <laughs> they were not even city. That's what I felt in between, and I stopped watching the movies, those movies, because I. I mean, yeah. I don't know what Indians. I don't want to know what Indians are doing in America. I would like to know what they're doing here. Yeah. You know, um, I felt so, and I think the NRIs in America, or the, they would also like to know what's happening in their in their own country. That's what right. I, I felt. Yeah, it became a little because one of your two films it became huge successes. Yeah, and it became huge hits, and I think Karan is one of the reasons for it. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Who made it very that uh, uh, Archie comic? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then uh, recently, incredible movies are coming. There right. Are such such nice movies. I'm zapped by the writing. Right. The writing is just brilliant. Uh, what is happening in these days? Uh, and um, those uh, some of the films which they're taking up north. Yeah. Like U P and like the Aishman Khurana films. Uh, you know those. U P. Yeah. Aishman Khurana's film. And some of the films which they're taking up to U P. Yeah. All those Bihar. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Those films suddenly reminded me of the uh, uh, films b uh, before. And these films, I'm really enjoying the slang, the way people talk. Yeah. You know, uh, all these things. 
and um, and also I had enjoyed some films like Amit Ji's films like Pink, yeah, yeah, Badla. Yeah. They're so simple stories. Yeah, yeah. Just two or three characters. Yeah, and they were just brilliant. And um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about part two of the question compared to the evolution of southern? Uh, evolution of southern films. We have the uh, the mainstream cinema, which is going more and more larger than life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we have the other kind of cinema. There's a nice mix, mix. that's happening. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful mix. There's one thing. Tamil Nadu goes more rural. They are very, very raw. Tamil films. Right. Telugu films. What's happening is they are purely concentrating on entertainment. Right. I think they have figured it out. That people had enough of COVID or before COVID, seriousness, stress, all of them. If right. you see eighty percent of the film, you go to a Telugu film, you'll be laughing. Yeah. Along with okay, little bit of crying, little bit of action, but there'll be so much laugh. Crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. You know? Um, um, that that's what I love about Telugu cinema, and that's why you see today the collections. No, <laughs> that's Whatever amazing. Happens. It's like it's like. Telugu cinema has, you know, raced past the gate. I mean, the COVID doors opened, and and you know, the like, the, you know, the post-pandemic releases, you know, they've been like out there. You've had Crack, you've had Upena, you now Jati Ratnalu. Yeah. No other industry has managed yeah. to uh, figure yeah. this out. A lot of people say. Uh, Is it the mix of films or how? How do you explain this? A lot Just of people say you people don't have the sensibilities. What films you are making? I think we have the sensibility of the masses. Right. That's what. Very. They're, what they're they coming like. to see. Like the movies that they want to see. Yeah. yeah, and we are making films what they like. To, we, I like to make films. I like to make people laugh. I like to make people see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yesterday we were doing. Uh, I was sitting with uh, Salman and uh, Niranjan Reddy for, for uh, mixing of the film, and we were both all three of us. Ah, this is a CT moment. <laughs> this is a CT moment. <laughs> As we are going through. <laughs> yeah. Because, like for instance, Tamil cinema and even Hindi cinema right now, they're all figuring: should we offer a theatrical? Should we go to OTT? You know that whole confusion. You guys don't seem to have it now. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> they all want to release again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the last question. Samantha, when she was promoting her chat show, yeah. she said when she was asked some question like, "Who's the person who inspires you the most?" or something like that, she says, "You," right? And her exact words are. He's the Bible on how to live your life. <laughs> now, please, Nagarjuna, you have to leave us with this big life secret. I don't know, but I live my life my way. Yeah, That's about but, it. but what is this biblical, you know, thing that you do that, that inspires people? <laughs> Samantha Ruth Prabhu, no? So, <laughs> Samantha Ask her. Ask her. Maybe she remembers the Bible, so whatever. Yeah. No, she, I guess she, you know, there's never a dull moment when she's there and I'm there and uh, I, we laugh, we talk. Right, and, right, and, uh, right. You're a very the, positive person, aren't no you? No judgments. Do what you need to do. <laughs> yeah. You know, and let me do what I need to do. <laughs> Don't, you know. So, no, no, we have a beautiful relationship. Uh, right. Uh, no, I'm saying you're yeah. basically a very positive person. I like to be. What's the point? <laughs> right, right. What's so, point? on that positive right. note, I hope good things happen to Wild Dog. Well, I hope so too, but I will keep going on. Yeah, <laughs> I will yeah. keep trying. Yeah, and I look, look forward especially to these OTT projects you're mentioning because I'm very curious to see how they will use Nagarjuna in that space. It's a very interesting space. And yeah, one thing which I'm promoting is a period film during World War II time, right. what was happening in India during that time. And uh, another one. That's Anapurna. Huh. Okay. No, no, it's not that. We are, you know. Okay, okay. Is that preliminary stages? Preliminary stage. We're pitching the decks and okay, all of okay, that. Right. It'll go somewhere. And another one is also uh, 1980s to now. Yeah. It's all those kind. Of OTT, you can tell the stories. Right, right. Long stories you can tell. Right. You know. But will they have CT moments? I will make sure that. Uh, okay. That is, my, that is my mantra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nagarjuna. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice seeing you again, Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>